Here's a riddle. How many legs does a frog have? That all depends on which parasites infect it. I'm Anna, and this is Gross Science. <laughs> Throughout North America, there's a parasitic flatworm that makes its home in the digestive systems of water birds. A bird's esophagus is a great place for these guys. That's where they find mates, have sex, and pop out thousands of eggs. The eggs move through the digestive tract, and when the bird poops in fresh water, the eggs hatch and the baby parasites look for a new home. But finding a new feathered friend isn't so easy. The parasite will need to travel through two other animals and go through four different life stages before it finds another bird and settles down. The first stop is a freshwater snail. When it finds one, the parasite will invade the snail's tissues, turn into the next larval stage, and eat away at the snail's reproductive organs, castrating it in the process. Aw, oh, man. There, it also multiplies asexually and enters yet another life stage. Eventually, these hordes of parasites swim out of the snail in search of their next host, a tadpole. Once a tadpole is found, the larvae start to penetrate its tissue, focusing on the hind limb buds. That's where the developing frog's back legs will eventually grow. The larvae grow a hard protective coating called a cyst, and this is where things get really gross. These parasitic cysts interrupt proper limb formation, causing the frogs to have an unusual number of legs once they metamorphose, anywhere from zero to 10. And when these froggy monstrosities get eaten by birds, the parasites finally become adults and the life cycle starts all over again. Now, the thing I find most interesting about this is that the frog's weird limb development isn't just a side effect of the parasitic infection. Scientists think that causing frogs to have multiple or missing legs is actually advantageous for the parasite. Manipulating a host's morphology, in other words, how it looks, is just one strategy that parasites use to survive. Frogs that have an unusual number of limbs move more slowly than their four-legged counterparts, and that makes them easier for birds to catch, which of course makes it more likely that the parasite will end up exactly where it wants to be, inside a bird's esophagus, surrounded by mates. And really, isn't that what we all want in life? Ew. Hey guys, every week you have such insightful and wonderful questions and comments, and I'd love to be able to reward that somehow. So um, I've decided that I'm gonna try a new thing. Each week I'm gonna post an additional animation or still related to the episode on Instagram, and in the body of the Instagram post, I'm going to take one of your questions and answer it. Um, so please leave your questions below, and I will see you guys on Instagram. All right, thanks for watching. See you soon.